Hey guys, working on a demo laptop today. I'm uh, gonna show you some fixes for the problem. Uh, hard drive not detected, hard drive not installed, not found, uh, no boot device detected, any, any sort of errors like this that's telling you your hard drive no longer exists. Um, it can be very frustrating. You probably just used your computer a little while ago um, and now you're being told that uh, the hard drive has disappeared. So we're gonna show you some fixes for that. As always, uh, check out the description for frequently asked questions. If I see you posting the question over and over again, then I'll put it in there to save you some time. Um, also, if you don't see your question there and you need to leave a comment, I do try to get back to you a couple times a day at least, um, unless I'm in the office, in which case I'll get back to you uh, more than that. Uh, as you can see, I just turned on my computer. Let me zoom in and show you this error that we're getting. Maybe this looks like yours. As you can see, we're getting this nice loud error here. Uh, no bootable devices found. So again, no hard drive found, no bootable devices found. S same thing, your computer can't pull windows from anywhere. Um, so it stops booting up. It doesn't give you any solutions, just the option to shut down. So this can be very frustrating. You think your computer's a brick. So the first thing that we're gonna try, so I'm gonna hit shut down. We'll shut the computer down. The first thing that I'm gonna try uh, is holding down power, turning it on, and tapping on F2. One of the things that I have found in this uh, is that very often, a majority of the time, um, when you're getting these errors, it's got nothing to do with your hard drive, it's a setting in BIOS. So turn your uh, computer on, just tap on F2 in most Dells, that'll get you to BIOS. I'm gonna show you some changes that we can do here, some settings that we can adjust. Uh, to again a majority of the time fix this problem if it's not actually your hard drive um, And then later in the video, I'll show you what to do if it is your hard drive So uh, first thing you want to check I want to come over here uh, Under general tab which should be open automatically uh, the bottom option date and time click on that Make sure your date and your time is correct um, If it's not correct, it sounds simple, but this can cause all sorts of errors in BIOS um, BIOS doesn't like working properly when the date and time is not correct. Um, it can tell. So make sure your date and time are correct. Simply click in, into the field on, on this model on this year. I just will use my mouse, click into the field, and then type the, the number that should be in there. Yours may be a little different. You may have to tab over or whatever, but, but navigate through it, change your date and time. The next thing I'm going to take you into is your boot sequence. Click on that. Now I'm gonna to try to explain this nice and clear and slow and, and um, I, I, I hope that I'm explaining it well so you can stay up. If, if not, I'll be adding some frequently asked questions <laughs> to the description. You have two options here, legacy and UEFI. Sometimes in some of your BIOS, legacy will be listed as CSM. Um, and I'll probably put that in the description, but uh, UEFI and legacy. Now, long story short, the way you choose which one you should be using right now is related to the way your operating system was initially installed, which oftentimes you don't know. Uh, so that's why we're just gonna change these because whatever setting you're on currently isn't working, you, you can't boot. So we're gonna change the setting. So I currently have UEFI selected. I'm gonna change to legacy. And then after I do that, I'll show those of you on legacy how you can change to UEFI. So to change to legacy, as you can see, it's, it's grayed out. I, I, I can't click on it. So I've got to change some other settings to allow me to switch over to legacy. Uh, come down here to secure boot. Open that up by uh, clicking on the plus sign. Open that list up. And then click on secure boot enable. Right now it says enabled. I'm going to switch and select disabled. It asks me to confirm the, the change. So I'm going to hit yes. So I've disabled it now. Then come back up here to advanced boot options, right under boot sequence where we were. This checkbox for enable legacy option is unselected. I'm going to now select it. And then now when we go over to where we started in boot sequence, now legacy has been ungrade, so we can click on that. So in, in the reverse, if you wanted to switch from legacy to UEFI and for some reason you couldn't, undo those changes that, that I just did. Go to secure boot and make sure you enable it. And then go up to advanced boot options and deselect that, Un unclick it. And then when you're in, in boot sequence, then you can choose UEFI. 
The only other thing to change here is under system configuration. If you open that up under SATA operation. So I have two options disabled up top and AHCI down below. So I have chosen AHCI. If you have a third option of radon, choose that. Um, but short of that, if you only have these two, then you want AHCI. So we're going to go ahead and apply our changes. It's, it's going to ask us to confirm again. I'm, I'm not going to save these as a, a custom setting. I'm, I'm just going to apply them. Then I'm going to hit exit. All right. So sometimes the computer will auto boot. Sometimes you'll have to do it yourself. Mine, mine's restarting by itself. So we're going to get the Dell logo and then hopefully it'll switch over to the Windows logo and actually start booting up instead of giving us that no boot device error. Okay, yeah, so Windows is booting up. It's preparing auto automatic repair. It's, it's fixing anything in, in Windows that was made issue with by what we just did. Um, I'm gonna force shut down this computer by holding the power button because I wanna show you the other thing that we can do. Uh, this next step, you can do it first. If you have any reason to believe your hard drive is the culprit, if you don't have any reason, try what we just did with BIOS first. If that doesn't work, if switching those settings does not get rid of the error, then it could be your actual hard drive. So to check that, in Dell, we're gonna hit power, start tapping on F12. Dell comes with pre-installed diagnostic software. That's what we're accessing now. So if those changes in BIOS did not stop that error, then it is possible your hard drive is bad. So now we're in our diagnostic screen, or not yet anyway, where we, where we choose it. So arrow down, and you see diagnostic right there toward the bottom. That's what we want. Hit enter. And this will kick in your diagnostic uh, tool. So what this does is this will scan for all your hardware. It, it'll scan through anything, um, your hard drive and your RAM specifically. It's testing your LCD now. Uh, were color bars displayed, yes or no? So I'm gonna hit Y for yes. Uh, so yeah, so this runs through a, a diagnostic. It says two minutes, it's probably closer to six. Um, but you would let this scan run through. Uh, don't worry about the large scan, the long scan, that could take hours. Um, if you have a short option, stick with that. Um, this defaults to the short option. All right, so I'm just gonna you have an arrow down here to take you to where it, it's showing the progress. Oh. The battery is not installed, continue testing. Yes, sorry, uh, sorry about the noise. I forgot the battery's not in this computer. So it went to test the battery, found it wasn't there and screamed at me. Um, so yeah, so it, as you can see, it is testing things. So I'm gonna hit this arrow down in the corner, down here, which you can't see, um, hang on that arrow. Uh, that's going to take me to another screen. That's going to show me the, the progress. This is what you're going to want to look for. Uh, so these are all the things that are being tested here. As you can see, it just tested the LCD with those color bars and there's a, a, a green check mark. It's tested the CD-ROM already, green check mark. It's tested your USB gra uh, drives, green check mark. So everything being tested and that's passed has a, has a green check mark. As you can see, the primary battery here wasn't installed. It's got a red X on it because it hasn't tested it. That's what you're looking for as this finishes. As it says down here, 51 seconds left. Uh, so this is what you're gonna test. If your hard drive is bad, if your RAM is bad, it will show up here. Um, if for whatever reason it does come back and the hard drive's bad, um, before you uh, swap out the hard drive, try reseeding it. Uh, what reseeding means is you unplug it and then you plug it back in, make sure it's secure, make sure that it's, it's fastened in there correctly. Sometimes if you drop your laptop or bang it, the hard drives or the RAMs can come loose. So if it does fail your hard drive or RAM, try just reseeding them first. If that doesn't work, then it means that it's, it's most likely bad. Um, if it failed your hard drive and you reseed it and, and you try to load up your computer and it still is giving you the, the error and it's still saying it's bad, then it's probably bad. Um, so not the end of the earth. If you need to upgrade your RAMs, drop an extra 10, 15 bucks and get a nicer solid state drive or hard drive. Uh, same thing with RAM. Good opportunity to max out your RAM, improve the performance of your computer as long as you're in there. So if this was helpful, please like and share. 
Again, if you have any questions or any comments or anything you were unclear about or anything you're seeing that wasn't addressed, leave a message. I'll, I'll get back to you. And of course, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks so much, guys.